folks, this is Kitchen Knife Guru from KitchenKnifeGuru.com, website dedicated all about to kitchen knives and learning all about them, as well as other things kitchenistic. Today I want to talk about onions, specifically how to chop an onion. Really powerful, valuable skill to save you time in the kitchen. First, the knife. I'm going to be using a Global Santuku today. Global makes high quality knives, which I recommend on my website. Uh, I've got a great page called Best Chef Knives, Six Recommendations. This is one of them. Check it out. Two, the grip. You want to have a, um, a good grip on the knife. You do not want to do this kind of fist thing. Uh, this is a Japanese knife, so I'm not going to be doing the uh, pinch grip as much, which is what you do with Western knives, which you li literally pinch the blade. I'll be just modified back here with a curve to it, as you can see. Number three, um, oh, the claw. This is the way you deal with things kitchenistic. You do not stick your fingers out and so they're a little more you know, liable to be sliced or hurt. You want to get this idea of the claw. It's a famous thing. Very professional chefs do it. You don't have to be manatic about it, manical about it. But basically, you're sticking your knuckles out there ahead of your fingers and you're aware of that, so less chance of things getting in the way. Three, the onion, the structure of the onion. <clears throat> You've got a root and you've got the flower end. The root end is this kind of stringy little stuff, it looks like roots, and that's the end you want to be uh, conscious of keeping intact while you're chopping the onion. That'll hold the onion together and uh, keep it, make it much easier as you're chopping it up. So you're always conscious of the root end, okay? We're working to the root when we're slicing. Next, I'm going to slice this puppy in half. I like to peel it after I've sliced it, I find it easier. Um, so that's what I do. Slice off the flower end again. Root still intact, right? Okay, clean it off. Now, to get it peeled, very light. Slice through the edge, the outer edge. Comes off. diced up. If you want to make it finer, you can do that. Cross cut it more, make it finer, but this is a good rough cut. You've got a nice onion. You can also use this technique on other vegetables, especially like a garlic. You can cross cut it, do it this way. It saves you time on all sorts of stuff. Congratulations, chopping an onion. This is Kitchen Knife Guru signing off. Have fun cooking.